Okay, so now we'll take a look at part B here. We know that the Gordon family's electric bills are normally distributed with mean mu equal 95 and standard deviation sigma equal 23. We've already found the probability that the Gordon family has an electric bill less than 100. Now we're going to find the probability that the Gordon family has an electric bill that exceeds $135. So let's see here. Remember the mean here, the mean is that uh, $95. And we want to know what the probability that it exceeds 135. Well, one standard deviation to the right of the mean is 118. Two standard deviations to the right of the mean would take me all the way to 141. Um, 135 is between 118 and 141, closer though to 141, closer to 141. So this is the x value 135. That's the x value 135. And what we're looking for is we're looking for the x values that exceed 135. We're looking for that area. To exceed 135, you have to be above 135. So we're looking for this shaded area. Now, just like with the table, Excel only gives you the area to the left, the area to the left. So in order to use Excel to do this, well, I'm going to click on the next cell. We've already found part A using this function. Now I'm going to find part B using the same function. I'm going to go back to FX. Statistical is already highlighted because it's the most recent thing I use. I scroll down to the normal distribution again. Scroll all the way down to norm.dist, norm.dist, highlight it, then I click OK, and in this case, the x value now is 135, 135. The mean, well, the mean is the same. The mean is still 95. The standard deviation is still 23, and it's still going to be cumulative. So I'm going to still type T-R-U-E in here. But this area that it's giving me is actually the area to the left. Remember, this thing returns the normal distribution for the specified mean. It only gives you the area to the left. That's all this one gives you. So the area to the left is 0 0.95899. Let's see, 0 0.95899. Let's call that 0 0.9590. 0 0.9590. So this area to the left we find to be 0 0.9590. But what I want is I want the area to the right because I want the area for the values that exceed 135. So in order to find the area to the right, I'm going to have to subtract this number that I just got from 1. So in the cell below it, I'm going to type equal equals and then it's going to be 1 minus, and I'm going to subtract 1 from this value right here. So I just highlight the cell, cell B1, and press Enter. And then it gives me the complement there. So if you add these two numbers together, you get 1. But the area that I'm looking for is 0 0.04110. 0 0.04110. 0 .04 so on this side, we have 0 0.04. One zero. That's the probability that x is going to be greater than 135, and that's equal to 0 0.0410, or approximately 4%. So there we found the probability of less than using Excel, and now we found the probability of greater than using Excel.